Hello and welcome back to Heroes of My Magic 2, The Price of Loyalty. Uh, well, before we start, I noticed that the frame rate of these videos was kind of not the best for some reason. I'm suspecting that there was some sort of uh, strange bug in OBS, and I'm trying to see if I can work around it. In the meanwhile, I increased the FPS in my rendering, and it looks better in that way. So, yeah, we'll see how things go. But anyway, we are good with the scenario that we won last time. As war and unrest threatened. Yes, yes, I'm Gates. This time we're going to the Elven Lands instead of trying to retake Ivory Gates ourselves. So we only have two scenarios left. Very nice. Gain the favor of the Elves. Yes, I remember that they will not allow trees to be chopped down, so there's wood every two weeks. And we must complete the mission before first day of the seventh month. That sounds very nice, because that means it's another puzzle level, and I really like those. Uh, the last scenario from this scenario gets an extra artifact, so I wonder if I will get army from this one, in which case it would be really awesome. But since wood apparently is a thing, let's choose wood. The diplomats who were sent here ahead of you report that the elves will only cooperate with you if you will recover the golden bow for them. It was stolen by their enemies, the dragons, and hidden behind magic barriers. Oh great, we need Keymaster Stance. Well, at least we know that. Ah, yes, of course. <laughs> it's Ivan the Third now, okay. Uh, let's see, we definitely need him. What do we have here? A few things. We do have a statue. Okay. Get Ivan. And I can get the Stonehenge. Let's look around. Yeah, there's nothing to fight right now, so let's not bother with buying troops right now. And I don't have a Thieves' Guild. I would like to know how many enemies we're up against, if any. And meanwhile... Oh, that's interesting. You shift-click on the same troop. You just go into their description screen. Okay, you're here, you're here. Yes, that looks like good ordering. So let's see, what can we find here? Oh, dwarves. Well, I can send my... Oh. Hello there, skeletons. Ah, and that's one mill. Yep. I'm gonna send my main hero to get the dwarves, since he has those already. Oh, and there's our. Well, before that, let's explore some more. A shipment of wood has arrived from your kingdom. Oh, that was quick. So now we have more than enough 50 wood for everything. Okay, what we do need is gems. And in the long run, we also want mercury. We don't have enough gold for the turrets. And I don't see how many enemies there were. I'm guessing that there's not going to be all that much. Because we're supposed to just find an artifact and... That's about it. So, let's not build things defensively, if we don't know that there are any enemies to begin with. Lots of rogues. Anything else over here? 
Well, I can check out what they're guarding. Gold and some experience. And there's a trading post. That's pretty convenient, given that the gimmick of this is shortage of wood. Though we don't seem to have much shortage at the moment. Okay, well you can then resupply. And yes, I need gems. So, where can I find gems? Missing gold here. Yeah, so the first thing I want to do is get the ore mine, really. And yeah, the next day comes immediately, which means that there are no enemies. So defensive buildings are pointless. Oh yeah, I need to learn magic. you can just go somewhere else and I'll have my main hero go back to town because I'm pretty sure he doesn't have a spellbook yeah hmm, not sure in leadership, okay alright, a spellbook I'll certainly take those. And I can take the sprites and. Oh, right, bell dwarves, so I can upgrade these dwarves. Alright, oh, awesome. That's not a small amount of dwarves. Alright, and the skeletons get it. here. Hmm. Alright. This is simple enough. It well. So technically we didn't even need our melee characters. Okay. Now lots of mutant zombies. Well, I don't have much of a choice but to fight them. So let's fight them. And even more zombies in a graveyard. But I don't think I want to fight them just yet. Okay, I have bloodlust. That's good to keep in mind. Alright, in this game, Bloodlust increases attack, which means that it works for ranged troops also. Hmm. 
Okay, well. Yeah, let's get the bloodlust. No, that wasn't all that useful. One, two, three, four. Okay, they can get much of anywhere. So let's just stop them in their tracks. Oh, that's pretty decent. Yeah, now I can just get real fun. Certainly works. Can my hero get? Oh, well, that's unfortunate. Well, I'll just explore some around here. Oh, that is useful. Anything else around here? Not really. Well, I can go here. Just got out of it. And yeah, I still need a lot of gems. I don't have any. You know what? Yeah, I can just take these skeletons out, and then my secondary hero can take the ore. Oh, there's even less of them this time. Interesting how this game has four as the average sort of speed. Because that makes it so that enemies stand like one square or hex away from one another. Oh, come on! Says, which means they get retired anyway. At least for the time being. Oh yeah, I can get all four of them. And I'll take the robes. I could probably win the graveyard, but I would lose too many troops, so I don't want to do that just yet. Maybe eventually. And yeah, I don't have anything still, of course. I need more jumps for anything. You notice that mines and resources in the Elvish lands are few, and you send word to your kingdom that you will need extra supplies. They should respond within a fortnight. Okay, so my secondary hero goes first. And you can get the fountain while you're here. And there's another week. So I can resupply. Oh, I have druids. Huh, didn't notice that. Alright, I built druids, of course. Yeah, of course, nobody else is useful, so... Uh, yeah, but I don't have any space for druids. Hmm. 
Their morale is normal. Okay. Well, in that case, I'll just get everything else and not the druids for the time being. And by everything else, I mean just grand elves and dwarves. That's still enough to cost me all my gold. Now I can also go to the windmill. It's crystal, that's not mercury, and it's not wood, and it's not gems. Now let's see how this goes. Oh, that goes just fine. Basic ballistics, but I don't think I will use that all that much. So let's not even learn it. Again. On the other hand, mysticism is pretty useful. Oh yeah, and uh, there are more dwarves in the cottage. But I also want my secondary hero to learn all these experience things. Basic archery, yeah, also not super useful for a secondary hero. Hmm. I also don't have a whole lot of ore. But I don't need it either, so that's fine. Pretty fast. Including boars, of course. Oh, and I have more knowledge, but not more spell power, of course not. But if I am to cast Bloodless at any point, that would be now. Nice, just enough. Go first. Oh, but they don't amount to much. Ow. Pretty good result. Oh, what is this? Basically splitting paths and orcs and a pikeman. Huh. Well this appears to be a bonus path. So pikeman lots of orcs. Well, let's take a look what's over there while my secondary hero gets some more doors. Now I have a good amount of ore, but still not enough gems and mercury. Get the other dwarf. And sure, I can get the druids. And then 
I can get the sprites also. In case I need them. Entirely certain that this is not an extra path. Maybe this is the main path, it just goes very close to the edge of the map. Yeah, it might be. Like, grass is where we're supposed to be going. Huh. Hmm. Technically, I could also trade my wood. some extra resources, but it might still be useful, so... Yeah, once again, just enough. They really don't like elves, do they? I don't get it. How do I still have spell on, even though I have a spell power of 1. That doesn't make any sense to me. But I'm not going to question it. I still have it. What? I don't get it. How does that work? Why do these guys want to fight? They have absolutely no chance. Once again, they are interfering with one another. Basic scouting or basic luck? Honestly, both would be useful. But luck is probably a bit more useful. Oh, hello there, rogues. You guys will regret your decision. This guy is sneaky. Yep. But that was very much pointless. Not for you to do.
Well, okay, that works. I guess you defeated a goblin. Good job. And I got more morale. Basic wisdom. Hmm. I suppose it's worth picking it up. More knowledge. And more pikemen. Now I don't really know anymore. Which path is leading where? And I still don't have gems or mercury. That's lots of pikemen, that's lots of pikemen. Yeah, I feel like I should be going this way. On the other hand, I can look around a bit. Maybe not. This might also be an extra thing. We get the dwarves and yeah, the goblins are outmatched right now. As for the orcs versus sprites, it's a bit of a difficult choice. Might as well let him keep the orcs, even though that lowers morale a bit, but they might get themselves killed. Like right now. I definitely need some bloodlust now. that are just out of my range. Oh. Not out of their range. Okay, you got both of us too. was a good choice. So I lost absolutely nothing, wow. And uh, more wood. That's pretty generous, all things considered. And in fact, there's a lot of things that my secondary hero could use here. Pack of battle dwarves. Would be nice if they joined. I will hold off taking the dwarves until I have taken the gold. Okay, well the dwarves want to fight. Rather poor decision on their end. Beware of the deadly swamps. Of 
Nomads, lots of elves. Hmm. Well, clearly there are goodies over here. I want goodies. secondary heroes around here, I might as well try and do a bit more risky stuff. Oh wow, that's a lot of dwarves. But yeah, that will be all for the time being. Level 7, AA. And see you all next time. And we continue trying to find some sort of a path through this. Later.